This is the story of a kernel of an idea that just popped. Did you ever expect that you'd be making a whole business making popcorn? Oh, no, definitely not. I never thought this dream could come that true. 33-year-old Sam Beer is on the autism spectrum. And for years, according to his dad, Dr. Stephen Beer, Sam had trouble finding a job that fit. Sam was working a job pushing shopping carts during the summer at a, uh, at a supermarket. And he wasn't very happy, wasn't very fulfilling. So the Beer family thought, why not create our own business? It's not seasonal, it's not a fad, it's not dangerous to make, no knives. Sam, how'd you like to make popcorn? Soon after, Popcorn for the People was born. A nonprofit selling the tasty snack, handmade by people with autism and developmental disabilities. I think this place can help people get the tools they need to, to extend to another business, help give the confidence, the optimism, the endurance. I think that's what it means. There's very little data when it comes to employment in the neurodiverse community. But a 2015 report from Drexel University's Autism Institute found that four out of every 10 young adults on the autism spectrum have never had a paying job. That's a much lower rate than young adults with other disabilities. But Popcorn for the People has 39 neurodiverse employees here in their modest New Jersey workplace. Many people who, who work here never had a job before. Pop by pop, the business grew, selling popcorn at college football games on the Jersey Turnpike, and then word spread south. E -A -T -L -E -A -T -O! Our collective effort. Jeffrey Lurie, the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, has a brother on the autism spectrum. For years, the Eagles have made autism research and care a core priority. Last season, they even set up a popcorn for the people's stand. I mean, who loves popcorn? Everyone, right? But Eagles Autism Foundation's Ryan Hammond knows good paying jobs are crucial for this community. I think people think it's hard, right? Or it's going to cost them money or cost them time or cost them uncomfortable conversations. I think the reality is, is that the neurodiverse community has so much to offer. So when she learned Philly area convenience store Wawa had an empty shop they didn't know what to do with. Without hesitation, I was like, I would open a popcorn factory. When did you realize, oh man, this is a great idea? The second we heard it. Dave Simonetti is the senior director of store operations for Wawa. His stores already employ more than 500 neurodiverse people. Simonetti's daughter has Down syndrome. Well, my daughter's only 12 but i like the idea that she's going to have choices when she gets out of school and she will have things available to her that maybe didn't exist 10 or 20 years ago uh, because of the work uh, that folks like popcorn are doing less than a year after the eagles and wawa came together to hatch this plan a new popcorn for the people factory was born this one on Philadelphia's famous South Street plans to make and sell tens of thousands more bags of popcorn and hire 25 more neurodiverse employees like 23-year-old Jared. Have you tasted the popcorn? Uh, yes, I ate the caramel. It tastes, it tastes really good. Kylie Kelsey, known as the First Lady of Philadelphia and is married to retiring Eagles star center Jason Kelsey, is a passionate advocate for the autism community. To see something like Popcorn for the People who's encouraging those employment opportunities and allowing the autism community to find that independence, to find sort of that pride in their own work and earn their own paycheck, it's such a joy to see. The hope now is others will take this kernel of an idea and create more opportunities. It's literally a nonprofit version of the American dream. We wanted to create one job for my son, did that, and then another job, and another job, and another job. It's amazing. What flavor popcorn does Jake Tapper like? That's the question. I'll ask him. I'm thinking.